gents, I'm Gio Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I received an email maybe a week or so ago, and I'll read it to you because that's what today's video will be based on. Greetings. I watched and enjoyed your video on styptic pencils. I still have and use the same styptic pencil I got as a young man. I am 73 years old now, so it has endured time. I have a vintage Bakelite styptic pencil with a screw cap with a glass vial. I would like to mail it to you to add to your collection if you are interested. I have not seen a similar one online, so you may not have this one. I can email you images if you would like to preview. This particular styptic pencil probably belonged to my great-grandfather, Charles Sumner Frost. He was an architect in Chicago and had a home in Lake Forest, not too many miles north of you. The pencil came to me with other belongings of my great-grandfather. Thanks for keeping shaving interests alive. Signed, John Frost. Very interesting letter. First thing that popped into my mind, aside from all the other stuff, is the fact that he's had a styptic pencil, the same one, since he was a young man. So if he's 73 now, say he was like 20-ish when he got the styptic pencil, well, he kept it for 50 years without breaking it. That in and of itself is a miracle. <laughs> Because whenever I have one, for some reason, where is it? I, I have one around here. It's in two pieces. For some reason, I, can, I don't see it right now, but I always seem to break mine. So I can, I don't know if he kept it in a bulletproof Kevlar case. I'm not sure. But whatever he did, uh, if I have something vintage, fragile, I'm going to give it to John Frost to take care of for me. So he can keep it nice and safe and unbroken, fragile, you know how it goes. So anyway... I thought that it would be cool to show you this item that he sent me, if I can find it. Yes, I can. It's right here. It, he just put it in this little plastic clamshell case. All right, let's take a look at it. It really does look like Bakelite. It actually reminds me of that old Merker razor that was made of Bakelite, that real lightweight razor that was around up until a couple years ago. The color's a little bit different, but Bakelite, I think, is just, when it first came out, Another term for plastic, high-tech plastic, that sort of thing. They used to make electrical insulators and a lot of different things out of Bakelite. And there's some writing on the bottom, which is very small. Don't know if you could even get close to making that out. But I'll whip out my handy magnifying glass, even with the magnifying glass. Oh, made in USA. Patents pending. That's what it says. I thought it was Mabius or Barbus or something like that, but it's made in USA. The writing's a little funky because it is plastic, not molded real well. But you do know that if you can't find your magnifying glass, you whip out your phone and you take a picture of the item like so. And then you zoom in on the picture and then you can see it much better. That's a tip for you if you don't already know that, which you probably already know that. But let's I digress. Let's get back to the Bakelite styptic pencil. Unscrew the cap. There's the styptic right there. It's a small amount and I'm not even gonna try to pull it up or anything. Whatever's there is there. I don't wanna break this. So I'm just going to leave it like that. But here's the pencil with the styptic inside. It does look like it's been used. It's got some grooves to it. So we will just gently put the cap back on and tighten it up. That's the top part. Oh, that doesn't even screw. That just is a friction fit. Okay, so it just snaps in like that. But the bottom portion, this screws in. Let's remove that. And that is the liquid. And that says adhesive and gauze are under this label. Screw bottle back tightly after use. Triple aid it's called. Styptic pencil. So this gave you the styptic pencil on top and then some sort of a, don't know if it's a mercuricomb or some sort of an antiseptic that was in there. I can definitely, whew, I can definitely smell it some kind of ammonia or whatever is in there, but I don't know if it's still in there. It's wet. I'm not going to crack it open, but that is some collector's item right there. Here it says adhesive and gauze on that side, and then styptic pencil and triple aid. You can make that out. Pretty sweet. And the liquid is still inside. And the smell is pungent, quite strong. Let's screw that right back together. Like I said, the bottom screws tight. The top is just a friction fit. So pretty cool, that styptic pencil. Uh, if this was his great-grandfather's, 
you know, it could be over 100 years old for sure. Along with uh, some other stuff that he got from his great-grandfather's estate, he probably got some cool stuff. That being said, this is an old-fashioned styptic pencil. They don't make them like this anymore, but they do make them a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you a couple. Here's your very basic Clubman styptic pencil. Comes in a little plastic tube with a red plastic top right there. This is a small one. Here's this very same version. Man size, heavy duty size right there. XL size, whatever you want to call it. Magnum size, styptic pencil, plastic case with a little white cap for it. That's that one. Another Clubman styptic pencil. This one is called Hemostop right here. This one's made in France. The Clubmans are made in USA. This is made in France. It's got a nice, it's a nice sturdy bottle and the styptic pops in and out like so. This will be nice and safe in your DOP kit, as will the Clubman, as long as you keep it in that plastic case. And this one we just got in stock. This is by Mula. It's an alum pen or alone stift right there. And this comes in a sealed container. I don't want to break the seal, but if you twist this, then the alum will pop out. So that is also handy to drop in your DOP case. Last but not least, this is a little Colonel Conk styptic pencil. You just remove the top and there it is. Boom. So you know what a styptic pencil is. You're shaving, you nick yourself, you dab it on the spot. It will stop the bleeding and it will leave a nice white mark on your face wherever you dab it. So that is a drawback. You're going to have white marks all over your face. A better solution would be an alum block or an alum stick. You always see me after my videos, the Shave Nation Wide Stick Alum Block. Wet your face. You can wet the alum block, glide it all over your face. It's a natural product that comes from the earth, and it's also an antiseptic, and it will seal off your nicks, any small nicks or weepers that you've gotten during your shave. It'll seal those off, stop the bleeding, give you some feedback on your shave because it is an antiseptic. You'll get a little stinging if you went too deep, so it's good in that respect as well. And believe it or not, can also be used as a natural deodorant. It's effective at that as well. That's the wide stick. This is actually the most popular one we have right here. People love it. There's other options. You have an alum block like this. You have a larger alum block in a travel case with a plastic lid that snaps up and down right here. You have a small version right there. Travel alum block with a little snap lid right here. You also have alum stick. And, and this one we also recently just got in stock. This is from Mula as well. I like this one. It's pretty cool for the fact that it's round. Most are square, but this one's round. And it comes with a little hook or a little satin hanger that you can hang anywhere in the shower. I wouldn't hang it underwater because the water will cause it to deplete quicker. But hang it you know, somewhere in free air. So once you're done using it, applying it, you can just hang it up. And let it dry naturally that's pretty cool again last but not least here's a brand new one the shave nation wide stick alum block you just spin the dial it rises up you use it put the cap back on you're good to go till your next shave so all that sprung from this a hundred plus years ago i haven't seen one with any type of antiseptic built into it like this one this is pretty unique so john frost thank you very much for sending this i greatly appreciate it uh, if you want it back, no problem. Just let me know. I'll send it back to you or I'll keep it in the collection. It'll be here stowed safely. Hopefully I can keep it in good hands for another hundred years. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up any of these items, all of them except this one, they're still available at shavenation.com or just click down below the video where it says show more. There'll be links down there. You can check those out. I'll also post some videos on alum blocks and styptic along the way. So if you don't know all about it, you can learn some more about it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do me a favor before I head out. Smash that subscribe button down there and then ring the bell down there. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.